for ballot is long 11 propositions for Coloradans to weigh in on. Some of it can be confusing, pretty hard to research. And that's why this week we are explaining some of those issues so you can make the most informed decision that makes sense for you and your family. Today we focus on a new tax on tobacco products. KRDO News Channel 13's Hannah Knutson takes us beyond the ballot. That's right, Proposition EE proposes a tax increase on cigarettes and tobacco products, and it would create a new tax on nicotine products like vaping products that aren't currently taxed. Proposition EE, if passed, taxes on cigarettes would gradually increase from 84 cents per pack to $2.64 per pack by 2027. Another way to put it, it's a tax increase from 40% to 62%. The proposition states the new tax revenue would be distributed to expanded preschool programs as well as K-12 education, rural schools, affordable housing, eviction assistance, tobacco education, and health care. Diane Price is the CEO of Early Connections Learning Centers, and she says if Proposition EE is passed, preschools would really benefit from the extra money. When we think about um, how we begin to curb smoking, push back smoking, and take some of that revenue and put it into children and families at those young ages, not only does preschool help in terms of outcomes in school, but it helps in terms of outcomes for their health and their mental health and their social well-being. So I think those are critical aspects of a successful, collaborative community and society. On the other side of the debate is Michelle Ling with the campaign No on EE. Proposition EE is a $294 million tax increase, the vast majority of which will be paid by those making $40,000 per year or less. And this is a bat. This was done through a backroom deal um, with a sweetheart deal for big tobacco. Um, the funding the resulting from this proposition will not go to preschool for two and a half years, if ever. This is a bad policy and voters should vote now. Proposition EE would gradually increase taxes on nicotine and tobacco products until the year 2027. Preschool funding is expected to begin during the 2023-2024 school year. To recap, voting yes for Proposition EE means you are in favor of increasing taxes on tobacco and nicotine products. Voting no on Proposition EE means you are against increasing taxes on tobacco and nicotine products. For more information on Proposition EE and for a 2020 voter's guide, go to caredio.com and click on your voice, your vote. Tomorrow, I will have a closer look at Proposition 114, the reintroduction and management of gray wolves in Colorado. Bryn, over to you. All right.